conductors and insulators. We've got some different types of materials here that we will try to use in our series circuit used to run a bell. First, let's connect a metal can opener to the circuit. Will it conduct electricity? Yes. Typically, most metals are very good conductors of electricity. So this nail should work well. What about this plastic ruler? Will it conduct electricity? When we turned on the switch, nothing happened. Plastic is not a good conductor. However, it is a great insulator. What about this rubber balloon? What do you think? Rubber is an insulator. Other materials like glass and wood are good insulators as well. You'll notice that most wires coming from electrical equipment are covered with plastic or rubber insulation for safety and protection from electrical shocks. And that's why a utility pole is made of wood. And there are glass insulators on the poles. Insulators permit little or no passage of electricity. There is no perfect electrical conductor. Every type of material puts up resistance to an electric current. Scientists measure resistance in units called ohms. In a circuit, the greater the resistance, the more volts are needed to push the electrons through the circuit. Even the length and thickness of a conductor affect resistance too. For example, thin wire puts up more resistance than a thicker wire, and a longer wire puts up more resistance than a shorter wire, even though they're made of the same material.